to make a game that will play in a web browser using blend for web you need to add JavaScript code. There is usually errors or bugs in the code. In this tutorial I'll show you how to display the web console here in Firefox web browser and also in Chrome web browser. The console displays messages including warnings and error messages that help a programmer remove errors or debug the program. I'll also show you how you can add code so that you can write to the console yourself. I'm going to change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click Project Manager. Click Hide Stop Projects. I'm going to click the link for the first project in my list. The browser tries to load the web page, but we get nothing. There must be a problem. At this point, I would click the browser menu. My default browser is Firefox. Click Developer. Click Web Console. We get two messages in the console window. The messages are color coded. Orange is for JavaScript exceptions. To do the same in Google Chrome browser, I'm going to copy the web address, go into Chrome and paste and go. Click the Chrome menu, hover over more tools and click developer tools. Clicking on the Developer Tools menu, you can choose where to dock the console window. I'm going to dock it to the bottom. Looking at the error message, it says that a module is missing. Some error messages are very useful, some are not so useful. I recognise this error message. It is due to a Blend for Web update and it means that my HTML file needs updating. Go back to Project Manager and click the Check Modules link. Click Update Modules and Back to Projects. Now clicking the link for the web page, the 3D scene loads. There are no JavaScript exceptions. The web console contains a series of Blend for Web log messages that trace through the process of using WebGL to render the scene. The messages in Google Chrome are similar but not exactly the same. Both have warnings and both have an error message as one of the texture image files is not found. Messages can be sent to the web console from any JavaScript program. Here in the Blend for Web user manual in the For Application Developers section is some example code that sends messages to the web console. The messages can also display the values of variables, array elements and object properties so you can trace through your code seeing what's happening. You can find out more about JavaScript debugging at the w3schools.com website. To demonstrate sending messages to the web console, I'm going to open the JavaScript file of a project that I made in a previous tutorial. In the My Simple Car 2 project, a car scores points by driving into Coke cans. Click the edit link, click the link for the JavaScript file, the .js file. Tracing through the code, once the 3D scene has loaded, the load callback function is called and you place your code here. There is a console log line here which I'm going to copy. 
The first test that I'm going to do is to make sure that the create collision sensors function is called, scroll down and place the console log line just inside the function. I should make the message more meaningful, but this is just a quick demo. Save the changes and back to projects. Now when we load the scene and display the web console, we should see the message. I have jumped ahead and added another console log line to the code, this time in the impact callback function, which is called when the car collides with a can. I've made the message more meaningful and it will also display the current value of the global variable score. Now when I drive into the can, the message is displayed. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the Stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the Patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.